Hello, viewers. How are you doing out there? I hope you are doing great. I welcome you to my channel, Exact Graphics and Multimedia. If this is the first time you are watching my video on YouTube, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of video here. All you have to do is visit the channel, click on video, and then you scroll down and see a lot of variety of video I make on Corel Draw, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe Illustrator. And also, I used to make a video on how you can run an effective advertisement on Facebook or Instagram. That is what this channel is all about. So, and whenever you watch my video, also make sure you put down your comment in the comment section down below and let me know how you feel about the content. All right. So, let's get the tutorial started. Welcome back, viewers. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create a simple professional logo using Adobe Illustrator, right? So as far as this tutorial is concerned, I'm going to start from the beginning to the end. All you have to do is to stay back, relax, and watch the video from the beginning to the end. Once you're done, then you can now go ahead to create your personal professional logo, right? So the first step to take now is to go to File. When you click on File, select New. So having select new a dialog box it pops up this way then you come to this insert detail delete whatever you have here then type the name of your design professional logo all right so having done with that stage come to the width set to be 1000 pixels and the height also should be 1000 pixels then having done that then you come to the color mode here render it to be cmyk because this particular project is going to be a printing work. Once you are done, you click on create. Good. This is exactly what you are going to get, right? So now the next step to take as far as this tutorial is concerned is to go to our tools bar here. When you get to your tools bar, select polygon tools. Having select polygon tools, come to the shape property at the menu bar. Make sure that the color fit turned off. Then make sure you set your stroke color to be black. Having done that, then you come to the hard work area. Click on it. A dialog box will pop up like this. Then make sure that the size should be 6. Once you are done, you click on OK. Good. You are going to have something like this. Alright. Centralize it to the middle of the shape of the page. Then press Shift key, Hot key, normal drag to expand the shape. All right, so the next step I'm going to take now, I'm going to duplicate this particular shape. Just like this, All right? So the next step I'm going to take now is that I'm going to use my pen tool at this, at this point. So having grabbed your pen tools and you come to the anchor point here, and you create the shape good so once you are okay with the shape then the next step to take now is to select everything having select everything then you go back to your tools bar then select shape beta 2 having select shape beta 2 then you choose the color of your choice then you fill shape with the color good so the next step i'm going to take now is that i'm going to bring out this shape from the particular all right so the next step to take now i'm going to delete this one away good so now, this particular one, I'm going to centralize it to Z. Shift key, then go to Objects. Click on Group. Having grouped it now, then you can now centralize it at the middle of the shape, right? So the next step I'm going to take is I'm going to duplicate this particular one.
Good. All right. Now, to apply the final color for, to my logo. Good. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to ungroup everything because I'm going to apply uh, gradient color fill. All right? Now, to apply gradient fill color to this particular logo, as you can see on my screen here, I have my color already. I use sky blue and, and red. So, now to apply it to the, to the current one, what I'm going to do first thing is to select all the logo and take away the outline color. So, having removed the outline color, then I will now apply my gradient, gradient fill. Good. So the first gradient fill I'm going to apply is this particular sky blue. Good. Right. I have it this way. Good. So the next one is this particular one here. Gradients. Good. Then my eye color dropper to using this red now. Good. Good. So the next one is this particular down below here. Gradient fill. Good. Using this one. Good. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to select all the logo. Having select everything, you can shift key, alt key, and expand the shape. Once you are done, then you can go to objects and group all the logo together. Having done that, you can centralize it at your menu bar. Then you can resize whatever how you want the logo shape to be. I hope.